Hello and welcome to Move with Pearl. Today we will be talking about sensory play. If today is your first time watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and also watch some of our videos involving kids. And um, don't forget to leave us your comments. Any suggestions are welcome. What is sensory play? So sensory play includes any activity that stimulates your child's senses. That is the sense of touch, smell, taste, sight, and hearing, as well as anything which engages movement and balance. Why should you encourage sensory play? This helps them to develop their language skills and motor skills. So whilst you're playing, there's an interaction. You try to interact with them, whether it's a baby who is learning how to talk or a toddler who is talking already. You can do this by asking them questions and guiding their answers as well. Whilst they are using their hands to touch the particular object, manipulating the object, they are building their motor skills. So without wasting my time, I'm going to show you a video of a toddler playing with macaroni. These items are household items. You don't need to go and buy expensive toys or anything. You can even use rice or beans. It helps a lot. So the child uses macaroni to play at home in three different ways and i'll be showing you all the ways that she uses it to play so let's keep watching the video the first activity involves you filling a bowl with uh, macaroni rice or beans and putting in the cup and also if you have shapes at home allow the child to arrange the shapes on the floor and the child is going to make the shape of the object using the macaroni so that is what the child is doing right now isn't this amazing this encourages independent play sometimes you need to be there but sometimes you just have to sit from afar and watch them do their own thing It is always good to reward them after their hard work. Always use positive reinforcement like, well done, thank you, I'm so proud of you, or even clap for them. It works perfectly. The next or the second activity involves hiding small toys in the macaroni, rice or beans in the bowl then encourage your child to look for the object this involves you talking to your child and it encourages communication that we spoke about earlier you talking to your child and your child responding even at that age where your child is learning how to talk it sends a signal your child knows that it's time to look for something so the child will go in with the hands the fingers and try to search for the object and those things develops their motor skills and that is what this child is doing right now children or toddlers kids like any other person love to share their achievements with other people like their parents or any grown-up who is with them like this baby or this toddler who just found something amazing hidden in the macaroni she's all ready to share with her parents isn't this exciting let's encourage our kids to learn in different ways and also try to give them an ear when they come to us to share their experiences and excitement. When they come back from school, draw closer to them, ask them what happened at school? What, what exciting thing happened at school? What happened that you didn't like it? Talk about it. This creates a deep bond between you and your child. And you also praising them on their achievement helps them to keep pushing, to keep going and never stop. Our last and not the least activity involves a child using a spoon or a spatula to scoop the macaroni from one bowl onto the other. This helps the child to play with 
their hands and it helps them to build their motor skills and also it helps with coordination the act of them using their hands their mind to scoop to hold the spatula or the spoon and also scoop it and put it into another bowl helps them all the way don't forget to praise them it is the most important thing it is always good to reward your children positively a simple good job well done if a simple clap and also if you know what your child likes you can use it as a positive reinforcement for example my children loves bubbles my children love to draw. So what I will do is I'll give them choices. I'll bring uh, art objects and uh, art things that we can use to draw and color and also bubbles. After they've done a good job, I say, what would you like to do? Then they, they will choose from what they want to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want more videos like this, like this video because it's gonna push for others to see and also subscribe and share your comments are welcome and your suggestions as well leave it in the description box and i'll check them out